Thank you. It's an honor to be here. Thank you for inviting me. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, ma'am. And friends, uh, to introduce Ratnalika Madam, uh, she's uh, Jha De Gur. I mean, that's not the French name. We can call her or introduce her. Uh, she is a perfect blend of uh, idealism and uh, uh, Ratnalika Madam is uh, one who strongly believes that we should not only leave uh, the world for the next generation, for the kids of uh, next generation, but we should also prepare the kids. So that they can face the next generation, uh, uh, they're ready for the next uh, world that is coming. Next generation is coming. coming. She has done her degree in maths, science, and languages. Uh, and, uh, she's a deep thinker. She's pretty good in analytics. She is a profound philosopher. Uh, she is a great team worker. They've got a lot of hundreds of teachers who are fans of uh, And uh, she's very caring. Uh, she has done her postgraduate in English uh, literature and education. She is also a master trainer for PIPPT, uh, and she is also a trained uh, IBDT uh, coordinator. And uh, for the past ten years, Ratnalika Madam has trained uh, several teachers across the country to work and improving the, their classroom delivery, how to teach in the class, which is really effective, and uh, adding value to the next generation. So. Ah, this, hang out. Uh, <laughs> so this, this is just a brief of uh, what uh, she is. And uh, yeah, uh, my personal uh, interaction with her is uh, she's very empathetic. She's got a very good sense of humor. Um, she's a great storyteller. The way she narrates the story, I'm sure all the teachers and uh, Everybody uh, who hears it for the first time remembers it forever. Um, so this is the best experience I had. I, I am glad that I got uh, introduced to Madam. Good luck with this academy. So, Madam, over to you. A quick introduction about yourself to the audience. Uh, okay. You don't need me to tell you that I'm almost sixty, and I'm female. Yes, I'm female. And I'm fat, and I'm fearless, and I'm trying to look at all F. You know, at, once you get into teaching, your F word vocabulary kind of gets limited. But uh, okay, a teacher by choice. The story, a story about how I got into this teaching by choice. Into hoteliering, trained in hoteliering. Mm -hmm. Got into a classroom friend, mm -hmm. and there there was this incident there where I was a math to do something on had to teach the children LCM and let me tell you, I did not know the LCM and HCF then, mm -hmm. and I let me tell you, lots of grown ups still don't know the and why we do this, but I went to the board and I did this thing over there and. Akash Gattani tells me, Akash Gattani, who heads Gattani transport across the world, tell me, but you know, miss, when I went home for my vacations, my tuition teacher taught me this in a different way. Okay. So he come up to show it. So he comes to the board and he works it out and da -da 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 -da, back he gets it. I said, oh, wow, from now onwards, we will do LCM the Gattani way. Mm -hmm. Not the Gattani method, simply because I didn't know the method anyway myself. You know, it's, that is when I got hooked mm -hmm. on the children and on the teaching. Okay. In my journey, eventually teaching did not become about children. It did not remain about children. I realized that the kids are good everywhere. Hmm. It's the grown-ups that we need to work on. The two grown-ups in the education industry are the parents, and let's not talk about school owners, the parents and the teachers. Parents are totally different ballgame, and I have no control over them. But the 
teachers we have a control. There began my journey with empowering teachers. That's what I do. I empower teachers. There's a simpler word for it. People call it training teachers. Yes, I do train teachers, but I'd like to think that I'm making a difference in their world by helping them cope or do a better job. Done. Thank you. This is the point where you clap. <laughs> thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you. So now quickly so getting now, into the rapid fire question. Mm. What what brings in this energy? You can have like, this particular age, uh, so much of humor. Kahan zyada hai sab kuch? Kahan zyada hai sab kuch? See see see. Now let me tell you something. And promise you will not tell anybody. There's no one listening, right? Nobody is listening. Yeah. Yes. I am a pretender. I pretend. All this energy is just a pretense. ये ये सेशन खत्म हो जाएगा कि ये ट्रेनिंग सेशन खत्म हो जाएगा फिर मैं आउट गॉन डेड यस सो आई प्रिटेंड टू बी एनर्जेटिक एंड आई प्रिटेंड टू बी ह्यूमरस आई आई कैन हैव अ टेरिबली नो नॉट प्रेजेंट सेंस ऑफ ह्यूमर इफ यू वांट इट एट टाइम्स आई एम क्विक टू टेक ऑफेंस इट डजंट हेल्प द सेंस ऑफ ह्यूमर डजंट मैच But yes, I mean, eventually, what is there in life? You have something to laugh about, and you live it till the end of it, right? Great. So uh, I heard uh, there are a lot of people admire your husband more than you, and you know, uh, oh. how do you handle that? Yeah, I mean, sixty में जलत फील नहीं होते या about him? हाँ ये एक बताती हूँ एक बात है सारी लड़कियां सुन लो ये घूम फिर के बंदा घर ही आएगा और वो बात उसको भी पता है सो 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 ओके एंड आई हैव द मैन हुज़ डिजायर्ड बाय सो मेनी ओ वाव आई होप इज़ वाचिंग <laughs> no, he doesn't have internet today. He doesn't have internet. He'll watch the video. So, later. are you a dog person or a cat person? Okay, now I am a cat person. Absolutely, cat person. We have Felix at home. He made me into a cat person. I have to adopt this cute totla voice when I talk of Felix. You know, I can't help it. It comes automatically. Felix is my beta. Nice. So one thing about uh, you that uh, no one knows. Huh? Mm -hmm. No one knows. No one knows. No one knows. No, no, no. I won't go there. Maybe one thing about myself that lesser people know. I am a sober by night. I have a Facebook page called Sober by Night. Okay. <laughs> so when my when my daughter went away to college, it was very lonely for me. We lived in this big, huge house, and I had nothing to do. So um, I started experimenting. I would knit one cap a day, and I would do embroidery, and I would try to write books, which I was a so miserable failure at. And then I don't know how making handmade soap was what I hit upon. So I worked with essential oils, and I worked with so many things. And eventually, yes, I started making soap, and I started gifting them. And then people asked for more, and I became a home industry soon. But one thing about me that very few people know is that I am soap by night. Soap by night is popular in the handcrafted world. And now it's out in the open. And we need soaps now. Soaps now. Yes, this is the right you know, time. Wow. <laughs> but I am now in Hyderabad, and my all my soaping supplies are in Calcutta. So mm -hmm. we have to wait until the lockdown is over if you want me to start making soap at night again. 
Thank you. So five logged on one thing that you keep yourself busy with. I think five fun things I do during the lockdown. Yes. Oh, the answer is so simple. Mm. Netflix. Netflix. Three, three. Can you see where is my where is my camera? Three. Netflix. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Netflix. Five. Tell me what is five? Netflix. Netflix. But yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but yes. Jokes apart, I watch movies, cook, I cook. All of us are cooking. I mean, <clears> the <throat> whole world has become amateur and professional and all kinds of cooks. Um, I have Most started. notorious uh, show on Netflix, which you have seen recently, or just browse through. Just browse through. So you don't have to commit that you're completely seeing the show. You can just say, I, I just watched it. It was very notorious. So I, didn't, I decided not to. Oh, I'm enjoying Lucifer now, which everybody tells me is terrible and it reflects very poorly on my taste. But yes, I love, I love his English accent and I think he's very good looking, this guy, the actor. What and, was that? Lucy? Uh, Lucifer. Lucifer, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what, okay. And I have started storytelling. I'm, I contribute to a Spotify podcast where I say a Panchatantra tale every day. Mm, that's that nice. Please do it carefully so yes, that uh, I'll, I'll spread the word out. I'm trying out all kinds of accents. The tiger said, Oh, you foolish human. You think I will be grateful? And the jackpot said, I am a little confused. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. I'm working on accents. I think, you know, we can do, I was thinking we can do regional dialects now. The jackal could have had a Bengali accent. The tiger could have had a Haryanvi fun. <laughs> I'll try so that this, the next this, time. one of the examples which was running in your mind, and especially the Bengali and the Haryani accent. Okay, let's do the Jackal Bengali. So, what are you saying? No fish? No food? No football? And the Haryani. Haryani, I can't do it. No, no, no. For practice, I have to <laughs> okay, the next question is uh, what do you miss the most uh, about going to school and then you know uh, doing some of these activities then during lockdown you know everything has to be online. What do you miss the most? The Dadagiri. <laughs> in your own house and I am living alone right now in a guest house. Mm -hmm. Ah, there's no one you can raise your voice at. <laughs> I have to get back to school and I have to get all the kids together, the teachers together and yell at them. Yes, I'll get my mojo back then. <laughs> what is the best Dadagiri you've done today? Everybody keep quiet and sit down. <laughs> Works for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, your your uh, lockdown craving. My lockdown craving. No, no, no. You mm -hmm. have to repeat that question. Yeah. What What's the most craving you have during the lockdown? Mm. I need to eat paratha and butter mm -hmm. chicken. When okay. I get out of here. <laughs> I, I never eat this stuff, you know. I don't know. I, I'm i a teacher and I have this image to uphold, so I can't say beer, can I? Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> I, I had the highest beer craving during yeah, lockdown. During lockdown. Yes. Not, uh, yeah, I'm just a little drinker, and you know, I, I had this. I mean, this is the first time ever in my life that I had a craving for beer. And which exactly. ended up in many. 
But yes, so food, I mean, craving is food, nothing else. Everything else is good. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, some wisdom words to deal with lockdown. Gyan wale Gyan wale For everybody out there who thinks a lockdown is such a pain, I agree. Life is a bitch, and then you die. Kya gyan diya wa 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 wa. <laughs> but that's the truth. <laughs> okay. If you had to define a color for the lockdown, what would that be? Color for the lockdown? Mm -hmm. Ah, let me tell you a color poem. It has to be black because everything for me is black, right? Okay. Black is the color of the night. Mm -hmm. Without black, there would be no white. That's it. Do line is milega. Ek to free ka karwa rahe ho. Uski par sochte pura poem bolne wali hu main. Nahi. So actually, there, there is black and there is white. The lockdown has no grays also. Acha, ye batao. Do people have these instincts of, uh, uh, you know, ditching the husband and you know, running away with somebody? Yeah, if this maybe hota hai, and uh, if that happens, uh, who would be the celebrity for which you will ditch with the city and then bhaagne ka kuch plan? How old are you, Ravi Shankar? How old are you, Ravi Shankar? I am. I just turned 42. Oh, you're too young, yeah. Otherwise, there was a possibility there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I would ditch my husband and go and live alone. No celebrity. I said, no, no celebrity. Ah, uh, Shahrukh Khan, no. Mm. Nah. Mm. It's effeminate sometimes, I think. Then. At one time, it would have been Robert Redford, but no, no longer. No. No, no, no. no. He's got too much of gray hair. I would ditch my husband and go and live on my own in a house with a pool and a cook. Very important. <laughs> a cool and a, cool, a good looking, handsome, macho man, cool, right? Yes, no, no, no. then he'd be so focused on himself and not on the food. No. Macho man, <laughs> nahi ye. we'll use the macho man for other things, not for cooking. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Any, any message for the teachers? Uh, you know, uh, a lot of transition, you know, everybody had to learn. Uh, from teaching in front of the kids, managing them, tadagiri karke, all that is missing. So, any message for the teachers uh, during lockdown? It will all come back. It will all come back. We will be in our school classrooms soon. So, all my message to all the teachers is be patient. Get your July plans in place. You are back in the classroom in July. <laughs> Do it. That's yes. really important. Everybody, yes. Everybody sit down and make your lesson plans for July. <laughs> That's my message. Dikhra, dada guri kya hoti hai? Dikhra hai. Haan, dikhra hai na. Ye, 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 Okay, so now we come to the one minute CM session. So, Pratnalika, madam, you are one minute CM now. So, what are the areas you would focus on becoming the chief minister? Okay, I have a question for you before that. Huh? Tell me one thing. Uh, does it have to be like PM during lockdown or PM PM? 
I thought I'll see some of your interviews and know that, but I never reached to the end of the interviews. You know, kinesthetic learner can't last that long. <laughs> so tell me. So what was the question? One minute CM or PM? One minute CM for uh, during the lockdown or any which ways. Yeah, so it, it came up during the lockdown. The idea came up during the lockdown to make a new friends, connect with new friends in some inspiring story. So yeah, it, it's been a long lockdown uh, initiative or an idea. That popped up. You know, this online classes that we are doing nowadays, there mm -hmm. is a lesson to learn from it. I think we should continue online classes at least once a week. We should, children should stay at home. Mm -hmm. I know if I say this, the schools will start online classes on Saturdays, which we don't want at all. But it's a good idea. It's a good idea for children because it makes independent learners out of children. There is right. no teacher there to help you do your littlest thing. Hmm. Also, I want to use this opportunity to address parents out there. Parents pay the school fees. Madam. Salaries have to be paid to teachers. And the teachers, I don't know who's working and who's not working. I am in isolation. But let me tell you this, that the teachers are working so much more. They are looking after their homes. The children are there at home. The husbands are there at home. The husband wants countless cups of Adra Kuali Chai. They are doing this. And they are taking classes because the school wants them to take classes because the children have to be kept occupied. I mean, it's not about learning. It's about keeping children occupied. Syllabi has to be completed. I don't know. I'm not even going there. But yes, what I'm trying to say is that the teachers are real. You ask a single teacher and they will tell you that they were more relaxed and they were happier when school was on. True. There was no help coming from, and now there is no help at home either. Mm. There are lots of people who are actually who have free time, but let me tell you, the teachers are really doing double shifts. Mm. And then we have parents who say, Oh, why should we pay fees? There are no classes going on. So I want to use this platform to tell parents every one of you go home today and pay the school fees if you haven't done it. Schools need to run. The lockdown will end for heaven's sake and your kids will get back to school. We need to look after our teachers. If everybody out there wants to do something for somebody, I've been watching all this thing about people doing things for migrant workers and doing, I'm not talking about giving food packets for heaven's sake. But if you are stuck with wanting to do something and not knowing what you have to do, Please do something for teachers. Do it after the lockdown is over. Do it to say thank you to the teachers. Yeah. But if there's anybody yeah. you need to put your hands together for, let me tell you, it's the teachers out there. Thank you. End of speech. Tali bajao. <laughs> thank you, ma'am. That, that's a really uh, apt this thing right now. I think uh, parents are trying to take excuses as to why should we do this. And, you know, not yes. only for this, but a lot of other things. I think we should stop doing that. And that one sentence of thanking the teacher to support them the best they could do and uh, making sure they're safe, I think that also is, uh, you know, that, that's the best gift we can give uh, to the teacher. Yes. Thank you so much. It's been such Thank a pleasure. Thank you. I'm so glad I got connected uh, with you, Pushlipa. Uh, and keep, keep a charming smile that the charisma of yours active all the time. So I'm sure all your teacher friends uh, will be keen on hearing from you after a long time. Yes, uh, there's a teacher who's been continuing, a friend of mine who's continuously been texting me. I can't get on. I can't get on. What's happening? Why can I not log on? <laughs> Now she can watch. Ruchi, watch the video. Okay. Mm. Thank you. We close Thank now. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks for taking time. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye.